Yo, what's up? It's your boy Skywalker OG coming at you from the Lost Kingdom once again. Today, I am, well right now I'm hitting some barbarians, but today I am going to do an in-depth for you guys on Pelagius. Um, the reason why I'm doing Pelagius next is actually because I quite enjoy Pelagius. And I'm going to upgrade my Pelagius. So we're going to do a little talk about Pelagius here. Um, first off, I want to go ahead and get these barbarians down so I can go ahead and put my Richard on another set. Oh, my little heart. Come on, Richard, why don't you knock him down? Come on. Come on. <sighs> sorry, guys, sorry for this, but yeah. I want to keep my marches going on these barbs. I don't want to let up. Every time I let up, I drop in rankings. I'm trying to stay up in the top 50 at least. And I believe I fell out of it again last night. Yep. Right back out. That sucks. Alright. So I'm thinking about doing a live stream tonight as well, but right now <clears throat> we have a Pelagius guide for you guys. So I finally maxed out my Pelagius. Um, right now I'm actually using Osman with him, I believe. Yeah, Osman. Um, that's not bad. But the only reason I'm doing that is because Osman's my highest epic. I don't want to throw out a four star. Epic, you know what I mean? It's not too strong. Five stars, not even that strong. If you want to get your epics to six stars, that should be also one of your main focuses. After you max them out, well, really after you max out the first skill, you want to go ahead and start maxing out the the, the stars on them. You want your epics to be six star. They're pretty weak when they're not, and that's why I only lead with my six star guys, which is really my Boudica. Other than that, I use my um. Legendaries here. So, uh, you definitely want your guys to be maxed out on their stars. You want them to be 6 star for sure. Level 60. <clears throat> I mean, that's obvious. We all know this. So, Pelagius, he's obviously a cavalry commander. His first skill is direct damage factor of 300, additional damage factor of 300, restored or rage restored for 100. Um, his in his expertise increases his attack of all cavalry to 15%, and his defense to 15%. It starts at 10% until you use expertise. Increase the garrison watchtower attack by 7%. Um, that's not really important on him. I don't use him as garrison commander. I don't believe you should use him as garrison commander. He has a healing factor of 450. He has a 10% chance to heal some slightly wounded units every two seconds every second for two seconds sorry and so his healing factor is only 10 percent chance um with that said my favorite pairing with flog is well i guess i'll go into the talents real quick go ahead and show you i got some talents um i was actually using him for uh some garrison back in the day but i never really got hit back then and now i'm glad i didn't so i got wrecked Latin power you don't want on him honestly he doesn't have that much of a damage factor see and, and this is how you can tell this is just like a new build honestly you want it to be more like your Pelagius build should honestly be like this like this besides Latin power it's kind of a waste to put Latin power on Pelagius because because his damage factor is so low it's really not that high. It's not really worth it. It's not really worth it at all. So, um, I don't recommend Latin Power. But definitely you want to go, uh, you want to go these talents. Oh, sorry. You want to go these talents over here. You want to go full nuke. And then you want to start building up on this stuff. I recommend going full nuke. Going this part here. 
ignore Latin power. Do not spend on Latin power. And then going down here, getting all this stuff, and then going straight up here. That's my recommendation for your leveling. Um, you can use them peacekeeping, but it's terrible. My guides are mainly for PvP purposes. Um, what's the best way to use these commanders? And this is uh, what I recommend for Pelagius or Pelagius or Pelagius. Este es mi rey. <clears throat> Garrison is a. Uh, I mean, Pelagius isn't peacekeeping though. He's Garrison. Sorry. So you can't do that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Um, but you want it to be the same way my moto was set up, except you didn't. You don't need the Latin power, and you want to go up this route. So yeah. <clears throat> but Pelagius, um, when he's six starred, when he's six starred, and he's level sixty, he's really good, and you want to use him as the leader if he's six starred and level sixty. He's very good with Babers. He's very good with Babers. And that's because they both um, buff up calves. They both have a decent damage. Um, Babers brings more damage to the table. But Pelagius will bring him some healing, which is good. And uh, on top of uh, Babers' healing. To me, this is honestly the best. Pelagius Babers is honestly the best number one epic free to play um cavalry commander pairing Pelagius Babers or Babers Pelagius whichever one of them is the highest level so I'm pretty sure they have the same talents except for he's conquering and not garrison yeah he's conquering and not garrison now I do want Latin power on Babers because Babers does have a decent um skill damage so that's how Latin power works they have a low skill damage there's really no point in Latin power um but yeah Pelagius Babers my number one combo That's for epic guys. I'm not talking about mixing them up with legendaries here because Pelagia Sao Sao is actually really insane. But I'm talking about epics guys. I'm talking about epics. Um, Pelagius Boudica obviously works. Alright let me. I'm getting a little too, um, too mixed up here. Let me go in order from my favorite in what I think is the strongest to least strongest. Okay. And that would be okay. Pelagius Babers number one. I believe that's the strongest combo. If you do so happen to have a Moto that you've been spending money on, Moto Pelagius. Pelagius leading if he's higher level. <clears throat> but anyways, alright, so um Babers. Osman. Osman. I think Osman's very good with uh Pelagius, and that's because he can bring more troops to the table, which is bringing you more damage. You're gonna um hit faster, you're gonna hit or you're gonna hit more, and your rage is gonna restore more. Um, Boudica, Boudica also because she has a healing chance to heal. Nope, nope, that's not it. Yep, there. Boom. Oh no, it's an actual. She will heal. Yeah, whenever she uses skill, she will heal. So Boudica is actually really nice with Pog, I guess. My second favorite though would be Osman. Third favorite would be Boudica. Fourth favorite would be Scipio. Um, Belisarius, I'm, man, I mean, I know he's got some decent stats on him, guys, but I honestly don't like Belisarius. If I had to rank him with, if I had to pair him with Pelagius in my rankings, he would be the second best, honestly, pairing with Pelagius. If you're talking about just epics, he would be my second best, and the reason why is because he brings a lot of buffs to the table for, for, um, Calvary. Uh, but with that said, I honestly, honestly prefer Osman. That's my preference. I believe Plagius, Plagius Belisarius will do a lot better than Plagius, um, Osman. If, if the person you're versing is pretty much the, the same tech as you, I think it would win. But uh, with the tech I have, I'm be I believe bringing more calves to the field will <clears throat> will give me more of a boost, I guess I could say, um, than th this guy's buffs to the calves. You know what I mean? Just with having so many more calves with Osman 
and Plagueis, I think, I believe that that would be better for me. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. But Pelagius is good with Babrus, he's good with Belisarius, he's good with uh, Boudica, he's good with Osman. Um, he's obviously good with these two. Minamoto, Pelagius is very good, and Pelagius and Salsa is very good. Or, yeah, you don't want really Minamoto to lead, because he doesn't, or Salsa to lead, because he doesn't have that many, um, here, this is his talents, you know, he's more mobility. He doesn't give you that nuke side with your cavalry. You either get to be cavalry and then mobility, or just mobility and then calves. So, I'm actually going to turn him into my peacekeeper, one of my peacekeepers, so. I don't need, a, I don't need, um, my south out leading any marches at all. And then Moto's got that covered, and then my Pelagius will have it covered afterwards, or my Genghis Khan. So I'm going to work on that guy, too. But, um, yeah. For my Pelagius in depth, I believe he is, um, a very good epic commander. Especially top class for cavalry, for sure. One of the best, um, if I had to rank him, he is the best to me as an epic. And, uh, man, I, I really don't know why, guys, that I didn't level him up. Honestly, don't know why I didn't level him up before before I uh, did the rest of these guys I'm not even, even going to lie to you because uh, Pelagius was very good and I was free to play for a very long time so I definitely should have leveled him up but it is what it is guys um, he's really a good commander like I said, I'd recommend running them how I showed you my Minamoto talents were earlier. Run full nuke, minus light into power, run up this side, and then choose what you want from here. Really, it's a choose what you want, guys. I mean, you want to be able to run around the field quicker. You want to be able to take out um, archers quicker. I mean, it all depends. It all depends what you want, guys. Really. Um, where your tech's at. Because, I mean, if your attack's not that high in attack damage and stuff, you want to get, obviously, all the talents that give you attack damage. Um, you don't necessarily want the uh, march speed, I guess you would say. If you're not um, running into wars, like you're just hitting farms and then you're going away or something. You don't necessarily need that march speed if you're not expecting a war. The reason why you want that Cavs tech and that march speed is whenever your tech's high. Or that cat kind of talents and the march speed is whenever your tech's high, um, you can run around the battlefield and get away from the groups you don't want to fight and get to the groups you do want to fight, and your tech's gonna carry the rest of the way. So that's why the 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 the, the, the um, calves talent is better at a higher level. But for lower levels, you definitely want to go ahead and nuke nuke side on Plagueis and uh, use the pairings, man. Use the pairings I recommend. I mean, because they. They're, they're gonna they're gonna take you far, man. I mean, these parents are pretty obvious, guys. Pelagius Babers is literally hands down some of the best nuking damage and healing you're gonna get out of Calvary for epics. Just read their stats, man. Just read their stats. They're very nice. Pelagius Belisarius is nice. Uh, Pelagius Boudica, Pelagius Osman, Pelagius Scipio. That's all I really pair him with. I wouldn't pair him with anybody else. And obviously, guys, whenever I'm doing these pairings and I'm telling you these mixture um, commanders like Boudica, Osman, Herman, or Osman, Boudica, um, Scipio, things like that, they're very versatile. Um, send, send the troops. Like, say you want to send an uh, Osman Herman, send, send archers, because that Herman does give buffs to archers. So whatever your other commander gives buffs to, go ahead and send that troop type, guys. I don't, I don't, um, I didn't think that question needed to be answered. Uh, I don't mean to be rude or anything. I'm just saying, um, yes, yes, you definitely want to send that troop type that the other commander is preference to. The only one you don't have to really worry about is Sun Tzu, because he doesn't give that much of a buff to infantry. He doesn't. He doesn't give that much of a buff to infantry. 10%. Flip, flip and do but 
I mean, if you can throw infantry in there and you have another infantry, if you have an infantry commander with them, and you throw another infantry, then, yeah, dude, I mean, it's going to do good. It's going to be do a little bit better. Yeah, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Plagueis is Plagueis, man. He's for calves. He's really good. He's uh, definitely, if you're going to run cav heavy and you're going to get your cav tech up and cavalry is the way you want to go and you are not spend that much to the game, you definitely want Pelagius. Um, especially if you are if you are going to like spend a little bit and buy a moto, you really want Pelagius because you can 6 star him level 60 before you can moto. You can put him as lead. And then Moto Plagueis will do heck of damage, guys. I'm talking about heck of damage. I um I had a 555 maxed out Minamoto six star, but he was only level 52. This girl in my old kingdom, my old server, we used to one v one all the time. And guys, I'm gonna tell you, man, her max Plagueis, her max Plagueis, max Minamoto was beating my maxed moto um 544 sao sao like with no worries like with no problems she was actually beating me there was many times that i got close with my extra damage proccing off but other than that i mean she was pretty much getting me every time because she had that max moto max plagueis and my sao sao was only uh, 544 or 5432 or something like that. He wasn't maxed yet. Now, once my healing got maxed on Plagius, I completely wrecked her. <laughs> Just gonna say. But what I'm trying to get with that is Pelagius and Babris, or Moto and Pelagius, these, these, these pairings with Pelagius, man, they will take you pretty far. Pelagius is actually a very, very good epic commander. Um,. He is one of the top, in my opinion. Um, I did my in-depths on other commanders first, mainly uh, Boudica and Osman. And I was going to do Scipio as well first, the first three. And the reason why is just because of their versatility, as in they can go into just about any march and do very well. But these these guys like Luigi and Pelagius and Herman, mainly Pelagius and Herman, they're actually very good like they're very good for a very long time in the game um obviously once you're seeing maxed out motos and sow sows you have some issues but even then i mean just to fill it out the marches and uh and i'm not like saying it like um yeah i'm just throwing out a march whoop de do whatever you know that that's not great um no i mean just to put out more calves because my calves are very high in tech and I have quite a bit of them. I am actually going to send out. Right now, I'm sending out Austin Pelagius, but eventually, I will max out my Moda or my um, Charles Richard, and then I will start putting all my gold sculptures, all my gold sculptures into my con, because I'm going to run. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to run tests. Because some people have said Khan Sao Sao is the best, some people have said Khan Moto is the best. But I am going to pair Khan and someone else, uh, whether it's Moto or Sao Sao, with each other. And then I'm going to pair my Pelagius up with that Moto or Pelagius up with my Sao Sao. So I'm going to fill it out two main, very, 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 very strong nuking cavalry marches. That is my plan. That's what I'm doing next after I get my Richard Charles um I was gonna do my Julius YSG and they're not too bad but I believe it's gonna take me quite a bit more time to get my Julius YSG maxed out than it would be to just dump on the wheel and dump into gold heads on Genghis Khan I believe he's gonna be my best bet so that's what I'm doing guys um so even me at the point that I am mod middle of the road right now playing with some T5 big guys I'm still gonna be using Plagueis and I know some T5 players that actually still use Plagueis so I'm gonna tell you now guys he will take you pretty far into this game um, you will be using him most likely later on 
until they open up more legendaries for us for cavalry. Um, I'm pretty sure that I will go probably Saladin later to switch them out, but it is what it is, guys. Um, for now, that's what I got for you on Pelagius. That's the information I have for y'all guys. I hope y'all quite enjoyed it. I hope to see a lot of you guys in y'all's Pelagius go and wreck some faces. <laughs> I hope to see some comments down below. Let me know if y'all like these videos or not. Um, let's get that subscriber count up. Until next time, guys, this is your boy Skywalker OG from K16 and PHR representing. Peace out, guys, and have a good one.